All right, so before we take a look at defining a few more significant figures of pi and coming up with like a step-by-step -step proof of how to do so, let's just take a look at what happens to the dot as it travels down the path of energy. Now, before we get started, I'd like to say that this should be taught to you in grade school, people, but it's not. It's very simple. If we were supposed to learn the truth, this is where you'd learn it. Okay. Now, when I'm going to be looking at pi later on, this is not what this video is about, but I'm going to be looking, like, trying to make it like a cell. Like, in this one, I put a bunch of data in the cells, but, like, if every cell contained the position, or the, you know, position created of the luminary, the value of the cell, the number of times that cell is used, and it had, like, the Roman numeral equivalents of the number of the, you know, iteration or whatever, because... There are times where things are created, and there are times where things are reused, and nothing is created. And they all have to be accounted for. Okay? Anyways. So I'm thinking about Latin. Or Latin. Anyway. It's like Franglais. You know, and then like New Kids on the Block. Like some the DJ likes to play New Kids on the Block. And I'm trying to start to think about the, you know, Pets. We'll make great pets. We'll make great pets. Um, you say twice. Anyway, step by step is just, you know, like, uh, call everything by its right name, everything in its right place kind of thing. And I'm going to have to basically storyboard creation. So what I've done is I've storyboarded the first 11, I believe. So anyway, let's, let's take a look-see. So, you start with a singularity, okay, and it's going to go off in a direction, infinitely. Zero-dimensional dot. With a zero-dimensional singularity with line coming off of it. Step two is where you make a segment. You hit your first dot, you've made a one-dimensional line. Congratulations, you've expanded from a dot to a line, as you should. And the third step, you make a third one, and you're going to be stretching off infinitely until just before this line. So step three is where you are choking out a volume in a two-dimensional plane, okay? Or area, surface area in a two-dimensional plane. Why does pi start with three? It's where you approach the creation of a point. A circle three is a four. So, just saying, <clears throat> now, your four is the creation, your first step is the creation of the first two-dimensional plane, okay, and it'll be stretching off infinitely. Your step, fifth step is where you hit the next, again, these are luminaries, this is Pluto, Triton, Nereid, no, Charon, sorry, God. Charon, Pluto, Triton. I was saying this was Nereid, but maybe that's Nereid. Hmm. Then that would be Neptune. I don't know. Tatiana. Or, or anyways, um, we're gonna think about that. Everything by its right name, right? I'm trying to do too many things at once. So. What you also create on the fourth step, other than a, a two-dimensional plane. <sighs> is you create the number four. Okay, in some kind of upside down, backwards and flipped way. You are also creating, like I said, you are creating a one dimensional line from a source as well as a V for an I V or the Roman numeral for four. Now five is where you create the next dot and you start going back to source, but you get so close. 
before you're not touching but you'll get so close okay now what I see here is dot line V and this is the creation of your X really because you're going out from here now is this your L hard to say um, one thing I find very interesting okay Yeah, is in, in the whole scheme of Roman numerals, look at, look at my steps I've done. One, two, three, four, five. I've done five steps. And down here, it's the same picture over and over and over. All you're doing is moving where you're extending from. It's the eighth step. So if you use these five, I don't know, pictogram boxes, Kind of makes the dot, the dot, the dot, the line, the line. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Let me get into our 9-11 paradigm. So we're getting out of the 2x2, two two, which we've created a new... So really, between step 3 and step 4 is where you're creating a 3x3 three three in the 2x2. Two two. Or you're containing a 1x1, one one, let's say. But... In theory, there now is a new grid that you can expand on and change the resolution if you so choose to. But anyway, so here we're actually expanding out of it to make the 3x3 three three grid. It's not really a good drawing. But what I see here is basically you've completed your X and you have a one dimensional line coming off of it. Maybe it's like an I X. I X in Roman numeral of 9. Now here you're creating more like a V, and you're going out over here to almost complete a two-dimensional plane, but not. So 10 is in the same kind of funky state as 3. 30 is perfection guy. 13? You now 3 and a circled 1, which is a 2, 32 magnets, and there's 5 of them. Five rings for 160 magnets in heaven. Plus your 14 magnets from the axles, which is like a 12, but there's two entities to create the 12. So your 12 plus 1 plus 2 is 14. Anyway, um, it's making a V. Now the V, what I would assume, if this is this is one dimensional line, is not balanced with an X. Okay, it's just not balanced. There's nowhere that it can join up with any other line in this hourglass that would make it balanced. If you put it at the top, the bottom would not be balanced. But if you take a V here, what I think happens is that this line would go here, and this line would go here, and it would balance between the left and the right. So I think what happens here is that this V gets absorbed by the X, which is why the Roman numeral for 10 is X. If, the, if this gets absorbed and this is going up here, it's still contained in 10. It's just X, guy. There's no like little arrows pointing around like here or here or here. This is different. This is literally when X becomes X, when it gets folded in. After that, you're, you're shooting off to this dot over here. And you go infinitely to this dot without touching this dot. But you've created another two-dimensional plane here on the 11th step. Yeah. Just like you've created a two-dimensional plane here. Like your circled four is a five and everything kind of remains a five for a long time until about here, until here. This is a new iteration. A new one is joined. Another two-dimensional plane joins a one. X, I. Not I, X. One-dimensional line and an X is an I, X. It's lesser dimension or roman numeral than x but a two-dimensional plane i think is higher it's it's a different uh whatever it, 21 maybe i don't know two anyway whatever it gets bigger but all i'm saying and you have a one hanging off here it's like
This 2D plane counts as a 1 for the xi of here. This one-dimensional line counts as a 1 for the ix of this. This gets absorbed into here, right? If this would fold in for just your x. You know, sometimes they put lines on top of your Roman numerals. Maybe I should start doing that because I wonder where they come from. Gee golly gosh, I really wonder where they come from. Okay. So, there's something funny that happens between 3 and 4. Maybe you understand that the zero is a 1. Now, the new heaven in the 2D plane... It's like a circle. There's one dimensional line can go around this. And you haven't dot. You always got to think of that. And you don't have one here because it's not ever closed. And you get your new heaven here too. Forty-two. The answer to everything. It's where the two dimensional planes are created. 11's a 2, 4, 42. Near. 4. Near. 4. It's a bigger two-dimensional plane down here at the 11, and it's a smaller two-dimensional plane over here. Because the size is smaller. Okay, why don't I get all like, okay, well remember six is complete, guy. I keep saying that six is complete. Why don't I get jazzed about this? Well, you've created duality with two dimensional planes. Congratulations on your completeness. Something created. Something created. 3.1415. I don't know. Upside and backwards and flip 9. It's a 9. I don't know. White 9. I don't know. 2. Six. Five. Uh -huh. Three. Five. Uh, I don't know. I got uh, Fifth thing created, and it's the value of one, Neptune. And this guy over here will be the sixth thing created, uh, Tatiana. <laughs>